Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today I'll be covering the Halo effect scene in Token's new music video, IOD. Now it's worth mentioning that when I shot this I added an orange light above my head that was just sitting on my ceiling fan and had it shining right down on my head to give off the light and color from the halo that should be there. All right, once you have your footage, open it up in After Effects, and the first thing that we're going to do is motion track. So double click on your layer to open up the layer panel, and then go to the tracker, and then hit track motion. But you're going to click on position and rotation, and that will give you two boxes. So put one box around each eye and let the tracker work. Once the tracker is complete, go ahead and create a new null object, and then apply the tracking data to the null object. Now go layer, new, solid, and then choose the color for whatever color you want your halo to be. My recommendation is to at least keep the color bright for the glow purposes. Now hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity and just lower the opacity on that color solid just a little bit so we can see where we're going to make a mask and then go up to the ellipse tool and then make an oval shaped mask over the head and that will be the outside of the halo ring. Now create a smaller oval inside of that mask and then we're going to raise the opacity back up and change the mask mode for that smaller oval to subtract. And now you should have a halo ring. Now parent that solid to the null object and now it should be motion tracked in. Now go to the beginning of the effect and turn on both the mask path keyframes for the ovals that you made on that mask and we're going to go through the duration of the effect and just make slight adjustments based on where the head is moving so that we can fake the fact that this halo ring isn't actually 3D. We're gonna make it look like it's 3D. So you're gonna have to use your imagination for how thick it should be based on where the head is moving. There's a few parts where my head's moving and the halo where the back of it is comes in front of my head and we need the head to cover that so it actually looks like it's in the back. So we're going to duplicate the footage and move it above the halo and once again lower down that opacity and then at the beginning of the effect we're going to create a little mask around my head. Also, I gotta say, it's a little easier for me to mask since I'm bald. Turn on the mask path keyframes and boost the feather just slightly. I then turned the opacity back up to 100% and then lowered my feather even more from five to two because five was just too intense. Now move through the duration of the effect and adjust the mask so that whatever part of the halo is supposed to be behind the head stays behind the head. All right, now we're gonna add a glow effect. I added Optical Glow from Red Giant. That's a third-party plugin, and if you don't have access to that, don't worry, you can still use the regular glow effect in After Effects. You'll just have to play around with the thresholds. Now here we run into a problem that when I add the glow directly to the halo, we get weird light wrapping because of that mask that we just created. So the workaround for this is to not apply that glow effect directly to the halo. What we're going to do is pre-compose everything all together and then add a glow on top of that and then adjust the glow effect to only affect the brightest highlights which is why I said earlier that you want to choose a bright color for the glow purposes. Now click back into your pre-comp and then duplicate that solid that you made the halo ring with and move it on top of everything else and then get rid of all the masks. All right, now lower the opacity of that and then we're gonna create a bigger oval mask and boost the feather and reposition it over the halo and keep that opacity down lower. It's going to act as the artificial light that's coming off of the halo. And just double check that it's parented to the null so that it's tracked in. And that's it. That's how you create the halo effect scene in Token's new music video, IOD. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.